Okay, so here's a video of how the system I design works. Uh, I'm calling it the filtrator. What it is is a drop-in for either like a live well or a cooler, whatever you have. It's transferable very easily. It's a bait tank, uh, filtration and aeration system all in one. And uh, let me show you how it works. Okay, so this is it. I've got it right now in a cooler for demonstration purposes. I typically have it in my boat's live well. Uh, but this is it. I've got it just run off my truck right now. And you can see all the bubbles that are coming out. So what it does is it sucks air through here, down to there, and injects it right into there. The water comes in from underneath and sucks up through here, drops over a coarse filter to a fine filter and an alpha discharge. Uh, so let me show you the inside of it. You can see it's making plenty of bubbles, plenty of oxygenation. Okay, so when I designed this, I wanted to keep a few things kind of at the top of the list. I wanted it to be easy to take out and clean. I wanted it to be able to go in and out of the boat. I didn't want to have to drill in my boat. And I wanted something that uh, got plenty of oxygen in the water and also had reusable filters or cheap enough that they could be thrown away and replaced uh, if need be. So here's how it works. So when you want to take it out to clean it or just to move it to another boat, uh, just lift that out. Do with one hand and film, but take that out, take the whole thing up, let it drain. Okay, so I got it drained now, and as you can see down here, uh, that's all that's left. I can you can either leave those in, or if you so choose, you could take them back out. It's just double sided adhesive, gorilla tape that uh, holds those down. Like I said, I didn't want to have to drill holes, especially in my live well, I didn't want to cause a leak. Uh, or you don't want to drill in a cooler either. Uh, double sided adhesive there. This is it up here. Lid comes off. I have a basket that sits in it like that. There is your Tsunami T500, uh, which is, I guess, Atwood got bought by Tsunami or vice versa. That's the Atwood pump. It sits down in there with a little O-ring around it. Wires exit the side below the filtration. As you can see, water comes up through here, will pass over top of here, and then drain back down to be discharged out there. As it's pulling, pushing water out the outlet, it's sucking air in through the tube, wherever you decide to put the tube. The filter, you've got a coarse filter. First, you can take out to wash, and then you also have a fine filter and that's it. All right, so now I'm back on my boat. Uh, just, these stay in here. I'll show you how easy it is to put back in. Just slide the uh, bungees in. Take this. Slide it back in like that. Basket, it's been cleaned. Drop it right back in. Put your lid on. Clamp it down. That's it. And in my case, I run this hose out the overflow uh, to keep it dry or keep it sucking fresh air and not water. Uh, if you can't do that, you can actually, you could run it up wherever you need to. Uh, or if you wanted to, you could just pipe it straight up and maybe stop right here because it'll never get above the overflow. So if you're interested in one uh, and you're local, I sell them on Marketplace. If you're not local and you do still want one, I have a Etsy shop. It's uh, JC Custom Works, works with an X dot Etsy dot com. Uh, they'll be available on there. There may be like a one to two day lead time, depending on if I have any in stock or not. Uh, but just uh, reach out if you have any questions. Thanks. All right, so we've been out here for about two hours. Uh, this striper fishing. Got some shaft and something landing out here on Lake Watery. This is the bait tank filtration system I've made. You can see the aerator going into it. Um, so far, the only one I've had die got stuck up under it. And I don't know if he was dead maybe when he came in there, but uh, it's working great so far. Okay.
All right, so it's been four hours now, and you can see, still got plenty of bait, plenty of live. Uh, the very, very small ones can fit up under the edge, but that's only the tiny ones.